Please use this app responsibly. Watch first and practice later. Stitching together our backwards crossovers and backwards glides, we're going to start with the backwards inside. Setting up for our crossovers, let's tackle the moment as we lift our foot for backward inside. We'll have finished our last crossover and this foot that just finished the cross and tucked under, we're going to gently draw it to rest against the back of our gliding foot. And we're going to make sure, just like on all of our previous balances, the idea of hanging that foot as if it's a coat on a coat peg, just holding its spot back there, making gentle contact to help you to hold it nice and steady. This is our first version and the easiest version. Now let's tackle a slightly more advanced version of the same skill. Our more advanced version of the backward inside glide is to extend our free leg away. So again, as we finish that final crossover, the foot that finished tucking under is going to be the one that we extend back. We're going to draw it close first and then reach away along the circle line. So imagine you could see the circle that's going to be where you're traveling like a set of train tracks and you're going to make sure that you extend your free leg along that line behind you. You should feel narrow like a wall from the front end of your body through the hips and out through the fingers on the other side. As we start our back crossovers, set up a clear shoulder line and look along your circle. Use as many crossovers as you feel you need to build some good flow and momentum. And as we raise our free leg, make sure to keep the free side, shoulder and hip back along the circle line. And remember that balance is an active process, so you may have to make small adjustments as you go. It should go without saying by now, but always, always practice both directions. The free side control that we learn in this first shape can help us with our second when we go for our extension behind. Keeping that free side directly behind our skating foot is going to be vitally important. Try to notice the muscles that activate to help you to achieve this. You'll find your standing side has to work quite hard to maintain turnout for your glide and your free leg control comes mainly from your glute muscle. Taking the backwards crossovers into backward outside edge, we will be finishing our last crossover and taking a glide. So we get the half lemon push first. Now we have three different options for our free leg. We're going to talk about the easiest one first half lemon and then gently tuck that foot in so we end up with our knee facing along our circle line. I sometimes call this like the letter P. Looks more like a D really. But we're keeping those knees facing along the circle line. It's the easiest version. Our second version, which is very useful for figure skaters, is we make the backwards crossover. We stroke out the half lemon and at the end of that we're going to gently raise the free leg into an extend behind us. Now, we say behind us. If I do this square onto camera, you'll notice that behind is actually slightly diagonal. The free leg is turned to face out to the side, a little bit like when we do our T-stops or our good basic stroking. So we have that slight turnout and the big L. Our third position, and it's by no means the last, is to balance with the free leg in front. So as we finish our final back crossover, we stroke our half lemon. We're going to draw that free leg close and raise that foot ahead of us, maintaining our check into the circle. This should be familiar to us from our backward chassis, but now we're trying to really extend the amount of time that we can hold that shape. We're going to focus on two things in particular as we practice this free leg front skill. The free side is going to make a narrow line, one foot in front of the other as we glide, and the standing side, hip and shoulder, are going to stay leading the way as we skate. A simplified image for all of that information is to think of yourself as hugging the circle with your arms and free leg. For our free leg behind variation, the stroke that takes us into position is one of the most important factors. So we direct that stroke outward using the half lemon, helping us to achieve that slight diagonal out of the circle.